What's going on, TW fans? Thomas here. Thanks for tuning in to the latest edition of Tackle Warehouse's how-to series aimed at making us more knowledgeable anglers both on the water and off. Today we're going to be going over how to swap out a frog hook on your favorite hollow-bodied frog. I know for some anglers this is a super basic and easy task, but for a lot of anglers out there they may not know how or that you even can change out a frog hook. And it is a super easy thing to do. So if you're anything like me, you got a box full of frogs. I mean, from brand new to some of your battle tested, worn and torn frogs that have pulled a bunch of grumpy bass from heavy cover. I mean, there's, there's tons of options out there. You have your standard hollow body frog, silicone legs. You have maybe your cupped versions that are designed to spit, throw a bunch more water. Some with hyper, hyper uh, realistic legs on here. Some even some creature ones, a bunch of different ones out there. The one thing they all have in common, frog hooks. So this is something that you're wanna, gonna wanna change and you know keep up to date every season. So whether you've maybe rolled a point, flattened out a barb, or you somehow managed to break a super stout frog hook, they're super quick and easy to change. It's something you wanna know how to do to keep your favorite amphibian in tip top shape. So let's dive right in. All right, let's get started with this frog here. So first step, we're just gonna roll the body out of the way of the hooks. This is gonna expose your hooks on the other side. It's gonna give you a little bit of leverage to pull this guy out and guide it through. So we're gonna do that right now. So you're just sliding the hook shafts out through the body and don't worry about the body bending in like that. These things are designed to be durable, you know, get harassed by a bunch of large grumpy bass. So it can definitely handle you uh, bending it out like this as long as you use just the minimum amount of caution. All right, so now that we have the hook harness uh, assembly exposed here, we're gonna go ahead and slide this hook off. Now frog hooks, you can see they have two shafts with a gap in the middle here. So we're just gonna you know, slide that ring, that hook harness ring, right between those two shafts and off with the old. All right, to go ahead and put your new frog hook on, just as easy as reversing that procedure. Again, sliding the hook through that ring guy between the two shafts, getting it seated back here. And now you can see sometimes these hooks can be a little bit stubborn. So if you find you have, you know, a gap that's tough to spread or anything like that, pliers can help uh, in that case here. This one easy enough to slide back on. All right, now we're gonna insert this hook and harness right back into the frog. So now you can see we're back where we started. To complete the process, simply roll the body back over. I'm actually gonna roll the hooks. I like to keep the silicone dangling down, kind of keeps it out of the way. And then there you go. All right, so you can see it's seated correctly again. Now's a good time too. You can kind of tip out your hooks, you know, bend them to whatever angle you want to increase your hookup ratio. And, you know, if you want to see how we do that, make sure to drop a comment below. Let us know, you know, hey, how do you customize some of your frogs, bend out those hooks, and we'll be sure to cover that in the future. All right, one thing to note. Now, this frog has a nice sealed nose on here. That harness was unable to pull all the way through as I was pulling those hooks out, which makes it nice and easy. Not all frogs feature that nose. So if you have a frog where you can, you know, unintentionally pull out the entire assembly, harness assembly, it makes it a little bit more difficult because it can be challenging to thread that back in. So I got a quick trick for you uh, on those kind of frogs. So right here, I have a Booyah Poppin' Frog. This actual harness in here will pull all the way out when I remove the hooks. So to make it easier to re-thread that back into the same position, just grab a section of braid. The heavier, the better. Makes it a little bit easier to thread this thing in here. And we're gonna do just a couple of basic overhand knots. Now frog season fishing is just a little bit of ways away for me still. If it's you know frog fishing season where you're at right now, you can actually use your favorite you know uh, frog connection knot and tie this right onto the setup that you're going to be frog fishing with. That's totally fine as well. For the purposes of this video, though, I'm just using super heavy 150 pound braid and uh, just a few overhand knots so that I can guide this assembly back through. All right, let me cut off the tag end. And we are ready to rock. All right. So just like before, we will start by rolling the frog body out of the way, exposing those hook points again, and we're gonna go ahead and remove the hook. Where you're gonna see the difference here is the entire assembly is actually gonna pull free of the frog body. So now I have you know, the hook harness, the line tie, whole thing is separate from the frog. So you wanna make sure you have that braided connection knot on there to make it you know, easily threaded back on. Just like last time here, thread the old hooks off, we're gonna thread your new sticky sharp premium treble hooks on up the shaft. Nice and easy this time, don't need pliers. Again, you can use pliers to make that a little bit easier. And now we're gonna feed this right back in, pulling on the braid to kind of guide this thing back into the right place here. Get the hook shafts in there. Perfect. 
Okay, now here you do want to exercise a little bit of that caution again. We just don't want to pull the whole assembly back through. We just want the line tie to be exposed, just like that. Again, we're going to complete the process by rolling this frog body back over. Try not to stick your uh, frog body with your hooks, though it's not that big of a deal if you do. There you go. Fresh frog hooks on there. You're ready for a summer full of topwater explosions. Exciting giant frog fish. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this how-to on how to swap out a frog hook on a hollow body frog. If you learned something today, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, we want to hear from you guys. This content is being created for anglers at every skill level of the sport. So if you want to see a super complicated knot, if you just want to see a simple trick or hack, you know, let us know in the comments below. If you have any questions about this video, don't forget. Or if you just want to see more frog customizing tips, like, I don't know, how we bend out the frog hooks, or this guy's pretty beat up, maybe how we replace the skirted legs on these, or even just simple little trips, tricks on how to customize these things. We want to hear from you, so be sure to comment below. If you want to see more videos like the one you saw today, make sure to head over to the Learning Center on TackleWarehouse.com. Until the next video, guys, keep your lines tight and your frog hooks sharp.